All right, so what I mean by setting discipline is that you need to constantly look for peace control moments. So you need to stay disciplined and just focus to catch these moments. And the more you really do them, the more you improve. What's going on, guys? This is not your ordinary guy. No, this is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. So excited, man, for what we have in store for you today. So in today's video, we're going to talk about how to achieve proper peace control in Fortnite. This is a skill that really separates the average players from the pros. It's widely used to take control of fights and end them faster. And it is so important in competitive lobbies. We're gonna be, you know, breaking down what peace control is, the best ways to practice peace control, and show you some examples from some of the best pro players in the game. But right before we hop into the video, guys, we gotta ask you this. Are you looking to become a top tier player in Fortnite? If you are, ProGuys.com has everything you need to take your skills to the next level. From structure to live classes and pro coaching, we even started my motivational show, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, that's inspiring so many people at noon on the Pro Guides app or on ProGuys.com. So you gotta check it out, support your boy, because we're changing lives, man, starting with mentality. So click the link in the description down below to get started today. All right, guys, bunch of crunch army. It's about that time. Here we go. It's time to sit back, relax, and grab some of my favorite candy. What is that, y'all? It's that bunch of crunch. And let's get this going. I'm hyped. Our first topic is what is peace control? And it is a fairly simple concept, all right? Your goal is to gain as much control and dominance over your opponent by placing build pieces in areas where they would usually place theirs. Due to this, it's all about strategy and outsmarting your opponent by predicting where they're going to go and placing builds there first. Once your builds are placed, you know, you can edit them and open and control the fight from there. All right, we got to look at this first example of peace control by my main man, Unknown Army, one of the best W keys there is. He sees his opponent run on top of a stair piece that is already built. He first places a wall so the player cannot run underneath him. This is the first part of the peace control. Then places a ramp and a floor above the opponent so he controls all of the top side. Quickly edits both pieces then simultaneously places two wall pieces to completely box his opponent and clean up the kill. Due to Unknown's awareness, he plays this perfectly and doesn't put himself in a lot of danger. It's all about being aware of where your opponent is and what they are likely to do next. If he didn't place the first wall, the opponent could have just ran out. And if he didn't place the floor and ramp, his opponent could have just placed their own build piece, meaning Unknown would have had to work harder for the kill. Now, peace control isn't always about fully boxing your opponent, all right? Let me tell you this. Your goal, guys, is to control and to dominate your opponent. And sometimes, a simple cone to stop their movement is all you need. Here we have another clip from Unknown, and all he does is places his two build pieces to secure the kill. You can see here, and I mean like right here, Unknown getting some shots in and just cracks his opponent. He breaks the wall, and instead of just trying to take the wall so he gains that control, he instead walks into the box slightly to place a cone. This will stop his opponent and trap him in his own box. Because of how good Unknown's awareness is, he realizes that the side wall is open. So he quickly goes around, places the wall, opens the edit, and he secures the kill. Hopefully you guys now understand why peace control is so useful. And maybe now you agree with us when we say this is the meta for season three. Now, this meta has been tougher than ever, guys. We understand, though, that it's so hard to stay up to date with the latest meta, and that's why you gotta check out ProGuys.com, where you have access to a range of services to help you be the best that you can be and stay up to date with the latest techniques. Okay, so now we understand what peace control is and why it's so useful, what now? Well, next, you need to understand your limits, and by that, we mean like how far you can place builds. To do this, it's really simple. Load yourself into a blank creative map and stand in the center of the square. First place cones all around and just see how far you can place them around you. Then place a wall. Notice how if you look underneath the center line of a wall, a cone will place inside your box. If you look above the center line, a wall will place on top. And finally, if you jump while looking over the center line of a box, then a cone will place on the other side of the wall. Understanding guys where to place your crosshair is gonna help you guys massively with your piece control. So we recommend just getting into creative and figuring all this out first. Once you understand how far certain items place and how to place them effectively, you want to effectively practice what you have learned, all right? There are so many ways to practice peace control, but it really all comes down to you and your discipline. All right, so what I mean by saying discipline is that you need to constantly look for peace control moments, so you need to stay disciplined and just focus to catch these moments, and the more you really do them, the more you improve. Hands down, guys, the best way to practice peace control is just by doing it. 
You cannot learn a new technique without practice and repetition, which means you gotta do it over and over again. Firstly, we recommend free building. That's always a great thing. Now, let me tell you this, free building can be good or bad, so you gotta pay attention. It can be good if you're focused and are free building with a purpose, such as to learn peace control. But if you just free build and you just do random techniques, then you're not really learning and you're not really picking a muscle memory. So what we want you to do is free build with a purpose, free build and pretend you're fighting somebody. I want you to do some 90s, man. Place a cone, a floor, edit through both, and just go for a shot. Repeat this process a few times, then place a stair and two walls. Pretend you are cornering off an opponent. Trust me, my friends, these are situations you're going to get into when playing online. So build that muscle memory, and your future is going to thank you. Trust me. So we're going to go through different techniques to learn at the end of the video. So stick around for that and either write them down or just timestamp the ones that you want to practice. So when you're online and are looking to practice, you know what you have to do. If you do struggle with free building and you're looking for more instruction routine, then don't worry because we got you covered. This is Raiders 464's Peace Control Map. This map here, and I mean like right here, is to help you get better at peace control and it's going to force you to react to your environment. This is going to help improve your movement and decision making by focusing you to be aware of your surroundings and understanding what you can control. Once you're done with free building and you feel you know, you're getting the hang of it, we then suggest involving other players, going into creative 1v1s or creative games like Zone Wars so you can put what you've learned into practice. We don't recommend you go into public matches like solos just yet because you know you want to fight with the intention of practicing peace control because it's still a very you know new concept you're trying to practice all right you need to get into creative mode because it doesn't really matter if you do die or you make stupid play because you can respond right i'm sure we can all agree dying in public match is a lot more triggering than dying in creative if you still feel like you need a bit more practice we recommend you checking out proguys.com and play with pro service where you can get one-on-one -on -one game type tips from pros whose goal really is to help you achieve yours all right i think it's important to show you the kind of variety that you can have with peace control so let's look at a few examples here we go First off, we have a simple yet super effective move by Unknown Army. We all know about the Mongo Classic. Well, <laughs> that move is still doable, but because of the charged shotgun, you aren't able to get those fast shots off anymore, right? Instead of the Mongo Classic, you should do what Unknown and a lot of other pros are doing right now, which is taking the wall and placing a cone on the inside of your opponent's box. Here, we can see Unknown place the wall, edit it, and place a cone inside of his opponent's box. Firstly, the reason this is so effective is because you're ready to shoot straight away. You don't have to edit the ramp first before taking a shot. As you can see, his opponent tries to place a ramp down. Unknown phases through the ramp, stopping it from placing. And a few tax shots later, he's dead. Next, we got a clip from Benji Fishy. And it is a very simple box of his opponent. He sees his opponent on top of a ramp. He cones him inside, then places the walls around. Now, this can be seen as a simple trick. However, Benji plays is very safe and calculated. He doesn't try and just jump inside his opponent's box. He goes for a few shots on him to get the health advantage, then takes the ramp and finishes off the kill. He plays the very calm, calculated man, and just risk free. Okay, so as we said earlier, predicting movement is going to be a very important skill to master when it comes to peace control. This is because you can effectively place build pieces or break the correct pieces to gain control over your opponent. Here, we got Benji in a fight. He sees his opponent edit the wall and he moves into both next to him. Benji sees the wall is weak due to just being edited, so he breaks the wall, replaces it, edits it open, and he breaks the ramp inside. Once he does all this, he controls his opponent even though his opponent has all the walls around. Because of the constant pressure from Benji, he cleans up the kill. One thing you guys need to realize when practicing peace control is that having the freedom and control constantly, yo, it's very important. Here, man, we got Benji fighting and he's getting ramped over. He first places a floor and he's now underneath his opponent's ramp. And this can be a very risky position, bro. However, this is Benji Fishy, right? <laughs> One of the best players in the game and he places a wall and he edits out of it right away. This is a very important play and it seems quite a small one, but okay. Imagine if his opponent placed that wall and all the other walls around him. What if he caught him like a fish, right? It could have definitely finished like a lot worse for Benji, but he understands the importance of peace control. Now this last trick is so important to remember because it is the definition of 200 IQ. Benji is in his box with his opponent and every wall but his opponent has the ramp. Now the ramp piece has a lot of power in a box fighter, right? You can edit the ramp to go for a shot, to block or to cover you while you escape. So even though Benji controls the wall, it's still a massive risk. So Benji resets his wall so the guy couldn't escape. 
He then gets edited on and he's on top of the ramp. Using the center of the ramp as cover, he shoots and replaces the ramp, giving him that total control, right? Now, this move in itself is a great play. However, the best is still to come. Benji then edits the sidewall and he fakes moving over into the other box. His opponent goes for a shot to take the wall and while he is distracted, Benji edits the stair and lands a shot winning in the fight. Wow, <laughs> that was dope. I mean, this was like one heck of a play and this is why Benji is one of the top competitive players in the EU. All right, guys, once again, this is your motivation guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Thanks so much for watching this video. Man, make sure to check out my live classes going on every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at noon because you got to change that mentality in order to be great. And I really want you guys to be great. I really, really do. I love you guys. Keep making me proud. Bunch of crunch, army. Keep eating that bunch of crunch. And remember, leave a like if you enjoyed this, man. And subscribe because you're missing out, man. We got so much great content coming out. Thank <laughs> you.